I think what attracted me was the opportunity to work across the business and I think with an HR role you have the privilege of working with all departments in the organisation and you get a fantastic rounded view. I was also very curious about what made an organisation tick and I think people and the work that they do around creating great products and services for, for customers ultimately is, is the most interesting thing about an organisation, the talent and the capability within it. So yeah, that's what really I guess attracted me was that opportunity to work very broadly with, it, with the whole business rather than one specific area. I think talent management is really about understanding the people in your business, their motivations, what they'd like to do in terms of their career, what understanding where people's strengths are, and then really maximising that. It's also, for me, about um, joining that with actually where the business needs to go in terms of the business plan and the, the outcomes and, and the kind of goals that the organisation has and bringing those two things together. So it's really about trying to understand what capabilities, skills and, and I guess behaviours a business is going to need to succeed in the future and ensuring that it has all of those things in the right place at the right time so that, you know, that there's, a, there's an ongoing high performance within the organisation. I would say talent management is very important but I would also say it is part of how we work. So it's really part of the fabric in terms of what a leader's role is here at Sky. Of course we support and assist from an HR perspective, but really talent management is fundamental to us delivering on our business plan and again making sure we've got the right skills and the right capability and that's changing all the time. So as we innovate for our customers new products and services, we also have to make sure that we're innovating our talent pool and our talent plan um, so that those two things come together. We really look end to end, I guess, when we're thinking about talent in terms of someone coming and um, joining us. So it's at the starting point, we spend quite a bit of time thinking about our employer brand, how we're perceived in the market, in order that we can attract the very best people to start with, whether they're graduates, whether they're experienced hires, um, and across all the different kind of roles and, and jobs that we have here at Sky, from customer service through to financial control, through to creating great uh, TV programs. So we really, I guess, start at the very beginning of making sure that people know about what we do and how we do it and um, are excited by our company. We then also look at, I guess, the recruitment and making sure that you know, we're selecting people in, in, in a, an appropriate way that we can get the very best talent and the best fit for our, our organisation. Um, we spend a lot of time developing people and when we develop people, when we're thinking about talent, we have various groups from kind of, um, I guess, graduates through to mid-management, senior management and executive. And we design and work with the business to create development which is appropriate for all of those different groups at different points in their career. So we spend a lot of time investing in people and we think of talent being everybody in our organisation. So there are, there are opportunities and there are you know, ways to develop for everybody. Um, we also spend a lot of time uh, thinking about um, the future, so succession planning and really developing leaders, uh, thinking about the, the behaviours that we expect as well as the performance and, and the objectives of what people do. So there's a lot of time and energy spent on succession planning to make sure we've got a great pipe of people coming through, not just those that are in role now. And lastly, we spend a lot of time thinking about performance and ensuring that people have great conversations with each other so that everybody's performance every year is growing and developing and we end up with a very rounded approach to performance. So we want everyone basically to come to work and be the best they can be every day. That's the goal. I don't think it sits alongside. I think it's actually part of a company's strategy. So 
for, for me, I think what Sky does is really look at its business plan, what we need to do for our customers um, and our shareholders, and really we build our talent management capability um, in service of that. So as an example, if we were needing to develop new products or services for a customer, that may mean that we need a completely new set of skills uh, to service those products for our customers. And therefore the talent plan from that would be, right, how do we go and get those skills or build that capability? That might be developing people that are already with us and giving them a new opportunity, a new role, or it could be that we go out to the external market and we buy in talent, or it could be a combination of both of those things. So for me, the talent management plan is part of the business plan. It's really understanding what those goals and kind of outcomes are that the business is looking for and then working backwards from that to say what do we need to do with talent to be ready for that. I think that I would probably say that the first thing, the most important thing, is to get to know the business that you're working in. Ask loads of questions, be curious, um, and really understand what the business is trying to achieve. Uh, get close to the products and the customers of that organisation as fast as possible. Because ultimately, the leaders and, and the colleagues that you're working with, that's the key thing that they're focused on every day. And you need to be just as aware and, and close to that as anybody. Um, the other thing I would say is um, that it's important to trust your intuition and your gut um, when you're working with people. That will be just as important as looking at objective data. So use both of those um, sides of the coin in terms of how you go about uh, your HR work. So using intuition as well as objective information. I would also say that if you get an opportunity to move into a commercial role at any point, um, do it. Um, I think it gives you great experience um, that you can bring back into HR that is very, very valuable um, in terms of how you look at people issues. And the other thing, I, the last thing I would say, and probably the most important thing, is always start with the business plan when it comes to HR work. Always start with what does the company need to achieve, what are its plans, its goals, and then use that as how you prioritise what work needs to be done from a people perspective. And if, if you do those things, I think you shouldn't go too far wrong.